Smoke weed every day. All right, guys, welcome to episode 71 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Remy on the floor, got Aubrey in the back doing some shit. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. And uh, yeah, man, we're back with another one. As you guys can see, we got a whole new setup for you guys. Hopefully, you guys like this a lot more than the, you know, the previous shit that we had. And uh, yeah, man, we're yeah, back with another one. How you feeling today, Johnny Bull? Shit, holy fuck, man. I'm fucking excited. Oh excited as a bitch, bro. It's crazy. We came a long way, bro. We came a long fucking way, man. Um, I don't know if y'all been watching us from the jump, but there's some new people that's, you know, just been tuning in with us. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to the fucking Dope Talk family. Go down in the description and get yourself some merch if you're fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, man, we appreciate all the new subscribers. You know, we gotten a lot of new ones in recently here, man. We're at we're up to 863 right now. So thank every single last one of you for real, man, for supporting and um just fucking tuning in and watching us talk shit. Cause we enjoy this, man. We really do. Like this is therapeutic for me. Yeah, it you is. You know what I'm saying? It like is. It really it's therapeutic. Is. You know, we just come here, we vibe, we have a few brews, smoke a few joints, and just talk shit, man. We, just yeah, vibe. Just talk some shit. We just vibe, man. But um but yeah, man, today we're back with a few other fucking topics. And um, what do you want to get into first, Johnny Bull? Man, I was talking to Jay today, man, about certain uh, certain things, you know, just for the podcast. You know, we talk about podcast shit all day. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's what we do, guys. And um, yeah, he was talking about some lady, man, like that how like she got canceled because of like her not wearing a mask and certain shit like like cancel culture. I don't know if cancel you guys... Cancel culture. Yeah, that's what that's what you call it. Cancel culture. It's basically... Um, you just get canceled. You're done. You're done. Like you're, eh, you know what I mean? It's like facts. Yeah. I mean, the way I feel about cancel culture is it's fucking ass. It's ass. It's stupid. Everybody wants to be canceling everybody now for any little stupid little thing. And it's, it's fucking ridiculous, bro. Like ultimately, man, like some people do deserve it, but for the most part, it's just, it's a way of, getting people out of the way without having to address certain shit too. You know, like, I don't know. I don't agree with it. I personally don't, don't like the cancel culture, but I mean, it's I sp- part of the culture now. You know what I'm saying? It yeah, is what it is. Yeah. It's like something that we can't, we can't get rid of. You know what I mean? Like it's like, Facts. it's just going to happen, especially with technology and, you know, cell phones, you know, it may look like a whole other story, but realistically, something else is happening. Facts. Yeah. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You know, and that's the thing, man. It's all fucking fake. It's all fucking fake. Social media is all fake. You can't live your life based off of social media, guys. Don't fucking do that because you're going to be hurting and squirting. So people are you know judgmental and they'll just cancel you. You know, no one wants to hire you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like- exactly. There was a lady that, you know, she pretended to be black. I forget her name. Yeah. But it's been years now, man. It's literally been like five years. Like, okay, cool. You know, she did some stupid shit, but so does everybody else, bro. You you can't cancel somebody and literally like stop them from working and making money just because you don't agree with something that they fucking did six years ago. Yeah, not even a fucking jan- <laughs> not even a fucking janitor's. Like job. they won't even let her scrub a toilet. Nah. That's hell no. fucked up. That's crazy, bro. Nah. Like, nah. That's fucking crazy. Nah, that's fucking wild. Yeah, but it's just it's it's something that we can't we can't control. People are judgmental and they're gonna judge you on what you do and what you say. Yeah, bro. And your personal beliefs. Is it right? No, but that's just what it is and it's fucked up. It's part of it's part of the world, man. But you know, ultimately, guys, if you agree with cancel culture, you know, go down in the comments and let us know if you do or you don't. Um yeah, man. Going back to like what I just said, I think it's fucking it, it's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. It's it shouldn't a, it shouldn't be part of the culture for real, man. T- talking about ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I want to talk about this stupid fucking halftime Yo, show, bro. Ridiculous ass halftime show, guys. We really couldn't have gotten somebody a little bit better. Like, come on, man. Like, I fucks with the weekend too, bro. Don't get me wrong. I fucks with his music. Yeah, but it's like 
It's like, bro, like you, y'all could have gotten somebody a little bit better that sounds better in person singing on that microphone. It's not even that. He sings good. Yeah, he he's sings a, and he's good, a, and he's bro. A good but he's artist. But it wasn't the right person. Was it the right, <sighs> like, I, I don't know. I don't think it was the right, like, setting. You have a thousand motherfuckers. Hyped up, drunk. In the middle of the fucking field, bro, with a mask on, with bloody eyes and shit. Like, it's like, I don't know what, what the, the fuck, fuck going is on. going on, bro. It's just the what's music. This, what's the subliminal the, message you're the, trying to say? The genre of the music was just bad. The 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 choice. You yeah, know? Yeah, bad. Like, he's a great artist and he's, you know, he makes good songs. He has hits, bro. Like, he has hell, bro, mega hits. He got mega, mega hits. hits. You know what I mean? But, you know, pick a fucking better fucking. Yeah, get a fuck, get somebody get up there with that. some ass. Hit, cancel, I, hit, hit the yeah, button, cancel. Hit the fucking cancel, I don't know which bro. one it is. We're probably, you got, that's what the fuck I think about the halftime show, all right? Because honestly, bro, it was fucking retarded. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? All jokes aside, it yeah. just was, it wasn't for me, man. It wasn't for me. I'd rather have seen uh I have rather have watched like Megan the Stallion or like I don't know, put Cardi up there. So, you know what I'm saying? Some is gonna get the bitches hype, bitches shaking ass right quick in the stands man. at the halftime. You man, know what I'm let's saying? Get Janet like, Jackson back. How about that? I wanna mm, see some titties. Yeah, facts. I wanna, I see, wanna see a nip slip. Who did it? Who pulled it? Was a it Justin Timberlake? Bro, they all they all pulled their titties out. Justin Timberlake, <laughs> bro, they try to tell him, look, they try to cancel culture him because of the pulling the fucking, he didn't want to, he didn't want to apologize. For what? He pulled somebody's titties up? Yeah, Janet Jackson. I mean, I want to see Janet Jackson's titties. It was on the Super Bowl show back in like 2000. I forgot the Was year. it like he did it on purpose? No, it was an accident. It was a, it was a, it was a Oh, malfunction. they were dancing it, and. It was a, it was a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> that's what they called it. <laughs> And that's when the the name actually came out because there was never anything like that that's ever happened before. <laughs> so, so he ripped on TV. Wardrobe alive. malfunction. That's crazy. Nah, bro. It happens, bro. I yeah. remember Nicki Minaj's tit slipped out a few times on stage. Maybe it's she like, did it on purpose. Maybe yeah, she did maybe, it for the clout. I think you don't they know. do it for publicity, bro. At the end of the day, it's like, hey, there's shit going on over here. Look at my nip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Exactly. It's it like, is what, what the, it is. Nah, but it it was interesting. But they were trying to cancel his fucking career. But guess what? It, you know, he, he kept going. So, fuck him. Yeah, now nah, fuck him. That's fuck how we him. feel about him. But um, something else, man that that Jay brought up is um is how much freedom we really have in Florida, bro. When you start comparing this shit to other states, bro, and you're like, bro, like everything's open here for the most part. You're not gonna get bothered if you don't have a fucking mask on. For the most part, yeah. yeah some people, will bitch, it's it, it is what it is. But Florida, bro, is one of the few places where like restaurants are open again. Fucking, you could go downtown and party. Like you can't do that shit in a lot of other places right now. Like they're still on lockdown. Yeah, it's kinda- unfortunately for you guys, that's fucking ass. It's it's ridiculous, man. Um, I don't know. I really wanted to go to California, but like I just hear that it's like a communist state, basically. A that's what Jay, state. That's what Jay calls it. A, a communist fucking state. commie state. You hear me, Mav? It's a commie state, and uh, you can't do shit, man. But like I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe th- that's what it says on the media, and then like people are just breaking the rules and not giving a fuck. You know? Who knows? Who fucking yeah, knows? we're we're not over there to tell, but for the most part, just the fact that. I wouldn't want to live there. Bro, there was, there was so many fucking people I moved out of California this past year. It lets you know that it's like that for real. Because they're like, bro, we can't do nothing but go be in our fucking house. Like, nah, I'd cool. move the fuck out of there, too. I'd move the fuck out of there, too. Bro. Yeah, I'm not going to fucking live in California, bro. What is... I mean, there's it's a beautiful place to visit. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, no, man. facts. Such a beautiful place to visit. Um, But I, I don't know. I think I would really live, like, on the outside skirts of california i wouldn't live in like the inner city facts facts yeah nah for real man i living on the outskirts is always the best man people mind their business you know it's more secluded it's quieter smaller yeah yeah that's the vibe man when you grow up that's the vibe you want you know when you're 18 17 20 whatever the fuck you are you're trying to be at the club you're trying to be on the scene oh who could this fucking bitch is that it's cool but when you grow up, you're like, bro, leave me alone. Like, the, I got it, shit to do. I got shit to handle. You know, it's cool to party every once in a while, but it's, it's like. I just don't like, I don't like being around a tourist spot because then I get treated like a tourist. You know what I mean? And I don't like that shit. You know what facts. I mean? Like, especially with the prices, bro. Like price, like tourist price. 
You know, oh, compared yeah. to like they're regular... fucking you over, man. I mean, nah, it depends where you go. Like, there's I, a few yeah. spots in Miami that are tourist spots that you're actually saving money. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, nah, it's yeah. Cheap. I, I'll go to a tourist spot. It's just like, for instance, like for Daytona, like when I go to the beach. Like, I don't go to the tourist side because of, like, drinks and regular shit. It's a little bit more pricier Facts. than the residential side. A little side. bit. Nigga, you're paying, like, $7 a beer. Exactly. So it's like... It's like, what the, the fuck? The cops leave you alone because they think that you live there instead mm-hmm. of fucking... You know what I mean? That's how... I, that's that's just how you think. Like... Not nah, facts. It's just being smart, you know? Hell yeah, being smart. Talking about being smart, man. <sighs> Marijuana. Talking about being I, smart shit. in marijuana. I just smoked a fucking Mexico blood. is about to legalize the world's largest legal cannabis market. That's crazy in a lot of different ways, man. Man, we're fucking shitty. We're like, fucking we're, shitty. We're That's fucking, fucking lacking, bro. That's fucking, a fucking yo. You guys are fucking losers, America. We're you're losers. fucking ass, man. We're we're stuck between Mexico and Canada, and they both have recreationally legal federally legal weed what are we doing what, what are we doing over here what are we fucking huh? doing what, fuck, what are we Ricky. chop liver we gotta fuck now nah, for all man all fucking jokes aside I'm guys tired we, of it. I'm like tired it's, of it. it's bullshit man this plant doesn't hurt anybody besides the consumer that decides to consume it if that you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no fucking study that says that smoking weed for fucking 10 years will get you lung cancer like they did with fucking cigarettes. And it's been around for a long time. It's been around for a fucking It's been long around time. for thousands of years. All right. So you know what I'm saying? It, so it's, it's like. It's, it's what the fuck, bro. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because it's like, yo, like, okay, I could smoke a fucking cigarette out in public like we were talking about with Jay earlier. Facts. Like, come on, man. Like, like that, we could sit here, bro. Like, for example, man. He, Jay brought up a story. Shout out to Jay. Yeah. He brought up a story about a guy that just decided to just light a fucking joint at the park. And he's just sitting there smoking it like a cigarette and how everybody walking around was looking at him like he's like doing something so wrong, you know, because he's at the park and there's kids around and shit. And it's like, bro, if that same man would have went over there, walked over there, sat down and started smoking a cigarette, no parent would have looked fucking twice over there and said, hey, man, can you put that out? My kid is here. None of them, because guess what? In their mind, it's legal, so it's okay to do it. But it's like, bro, that's not just because it's legal doesn't always make it right. There's a lot of things that are legal to do that doesn't mean it's okay to do it. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. There's a lot of shit that's illegal that makes no fucking sense on why it's legal. You know, like, I don't know, man. Y'all go down in the description or in the comments and let us know what the fuck you think. You know what I'm saying? If if marijuana should be legalized federally, if it shouldn't, the fucking pros, the cons, because, you know, this is just our opinion based off of just off the top of the head. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just our opinion. But y'all go down in the comments and let us know what y'all think about the whole situation, man. For sure. For sure. Nah, facts. Nah, it's fucking wild. I, I like smoking weed, man. If I yeah, wanna, if I like I wanna, smoking if, weed. If bro. I want to smoke a blunt in fucking public and I want to smoke a blunt like outside, like. And I'm not even bothering anybody. Yeah, like, who are you the bothering, fuck alone. bro? And that's the part that leave fucking pisses fuck, just, me off. Just leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, like, like I'm not coming and blowing the smoke in your face. You might not like the smell. Who gives a fuck? Go walk 15 feet further. You're not going to smell it. We're outside. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we're outside. We're outside, bro. Go over there. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. That's just my personal opinion, man. That's my personal opinion. But, um, but yeah, man, it's crazy how we we're talking about how, like, uh, <laughs> like people want to hate on the police so bad, man. But they're really needed, bro. They're fucking needed, and and not only are police needed, bro, but they're underpaid. Because let's be real, bro. The average person, most motherfuckers out here carry a gun, but if something really happened, they're not using it. You're not trained to use it. You're not. If you're in the middle of Walmart and three mass shooters come in from three different angles, you're not fucking trained to take a single fucking shot at any of them because you don't know who to shoot first, where to run to after that. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this is all shit that you got to train for. Yeah. So if you're not trained for it, bro, you're not doing much. And to be real, bro, most people, even if if you can do it, bro, you're just trying to go home and make it to your family. You're not trying to be a fucking hero. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like, Police are undervalued and underpaid. Good police. 
Because it's like anything else. They're cops that are crooked and they're dicks and they plant shit on people and they put people in jail for years and they know that they didn't do nothing. Yeah. That's a fucking piece of shit. A real police officer is somebody that's like, hey, man, they take a kid home to their parent and they're like, hey, I could have took him to jail, but we're this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Like, that's real police work. Like, there are good cops out there. And I feel like those cops are undervalued and underpaid because of a few bad apples. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's like they go through too much. And it's especially with military, too. Our military, they need to be... We, we need to start treating our vets a little bit better when they come facts. home. Like, a lot better, man. Like, like, like they you know deserve I mean? a like, lot, the bro. They, they put themselves through a lot. They fucking risk their lives. They risk their, their health. They come back fucked up physically, fucked up mentally. They lose buddies out there. And then they come back and... They can't even fucking get, you know, an apartment before somebody else or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, or they can't get a fucking job or whatever the fuck it is. Like, there's homeless veterans. Nah, on yeah. And that the shouldn't only, be the only, case. The only thing they be getting is 10% fucking discount and 50% On off. holidays and shit. No, not even. When you go to Lowe's, 10% off. Like, come on, man. They deserve 50. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? Facts. Like, not 10%, bro. Come on. Like, they deserve a lot more than that. You yeah, know no, I mean? for real. They, they risk a lot, bro. You know what I mean? A lot. a lot of things like you wouldn't be standing here today. You know what I'm saying? Like for the wars that a lot of people died. You know what I'm saying? For for us. You know, what yeah, I mean? bro. A lot of people died. A lot of people came back fucked up. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I'm telling bro. you, like my grandpa, he came back and he was fucked up in the head, bro. My grandma told him for a long time, like, hey man, you know, you should go get some help. But that's not the stigma of a soldier or somebody that like, you know, you're a man. You don't go, you don't need help. You don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like Everybody needs fucking help. And if you're a veteran out there that's feeling some type of way, man, like you, you should go get help. And it's okay to be somebody that's like, hey, man, I don't know how to deal with this shit, bro. Like, this, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. You went and you did some shit. That's not a fucking normal job at all. Like, I was watching an interview the other day, actually. There was this, this guy, bro. He was the, he's, been the only black sniper in fucking Navy SEAL history, I think it is. And he has 33 confirmed kills in, th- in four months with a sniper rifle. And he was talking about it. He was like, bro, that he's like, I didn't feel good. He's like, every single kill was like, I went through, like, it was a, a grieving process that I went through on my own. But he's like, it doesn't feel good. Yeah. It's not like you kill somebody and you're like, oh, fuck that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You kill him and you're like, damn. That guy has a family. They were expecting him to be home. Yeah. You know, like, if, you, if you're if you fucking Unless human, you're a fucking savage. Yeah, unless you're a fucking piece of shit. You're a savage. If you're a fucking savage piece of shit. But most people, bro, have that remorse. That's why they get... That's yeah. why they come back fucked up mentally. Yeah. You know, he, he might not have been hit or shot or anything, but he comes back, bro. Somebody like that, like, he didn't get shot. He was a fucking sniper. He's yeah. a, a mile away. Facts. But... You come back with that mental luggage of damn nigga, I got thirty three bodies in four months. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of change that you just brought to the world, nigga. That's thirty three fucking people gone. That's kids that could have been born, kids that probably born already that don't have dads. Like, there's a lot, bro. You know, there's a lot that goes into that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, salute, salute. it's not call a fucking duty, dog. So, yeah, nah, salute ain't no, to you. No reset yeah, button. Yeah, no reset button. So, salute to you guys, bro, that, you know, you know, you served and, and you, you went overseas and you fought and you've seen combat. You know, you deserve you deserve a lot more respect and you deserve a lot more fucking help than, than what you guys get when you come back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And fuck the people that be lying. You know those motherfuckers be lying? Yeah, bro. Like, you yeah. see those videos of motherfuckers getting called out like in the middle of the fucking mall and shit? Like, what? All right. So it's like, so what does this at? sticker right here mean? Yeah. And they're like, it means I fucking uh, I killed somebody. I shot somebody. And they're like, no, no, that's basic training. <laughs> It's like, damn, dude, you know, like, at least know what the fuck you're front and with. The fuck? <laughs> you fucking liar, bro. You deserve to get beat up, bro. No, I beat you. I get those guys. Why they get so upset? Because it's like, bro, I had guys that died for that badge that you have fucking wearing on your chest. Bro. And they didn't come home and get their badge. Yeah. They have a purple But you yeah. fucking have one on your chest, nigga, like and you haven't heart. seen shit but your dick in your hand. Yeah. For real, bro. It's yeah, like. People be lying off their ass. Like, want to be ROTC just cap. ass. You know those are. I was in ROTC. I did ROTC for a little bit. Well, I did it for three years. Yeah, I was about to say cap a little bit, nigga. It was like his whole high school. My whole high school, I did ROTC. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> a little bit. And it was <laughs> and it was cool. It was a good experience. I learned a lot, discipline and shit like that. Uh, and I remember they shaved my head too. I remember. I'll never forget that story. They shaved it because like I had an inspection that day. We had a parade and I didn't give a fuck. And they told me they said, yo, it's either you, you know, you get we cut your hair right now and you and you pass or you or fail. Or you fail. And yeah. I needed that credit, so I had to. Decisions. I did it. I mean, you should have fucking got your hair cut, nigga. I should have. And I learned a lesson. Yeah. When you're a fucking 15 year old piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I was a piece of shit, stubborn, <laughs> thinking that, you know, no one can tell me what to do. That's that's all of us, man. Like, uh, there's a lot of shit that goes on. There's a lot of shit that goes on, you know, in our lives where we learn later, you know? Yeah. Like, it just takes time sometimes. But other times, other times, <laughs> nah. you learn on the first fucking one. Nah, for real. And oh, my God, I remember fucking being in that uniform during the hot ass days because we live in Florida. So imagine like it would be 90 degrees. Humidity is not a joke. I don't know if you've been to the Orlando airport. If you stepped outside them fucking sliding doors, it's human, bro. It's so human, bro. bro it's the pro- probably the most human place in yeah, Florida. Yeah, it's not right yeah, there. Bro, listen, bro, that shit is not a fucking joke. Florida's just human, period, bro. Because we're supposed to be underwater. I fucking hate <laughs> going to the airport, bro. Bro, the airport is ass. Yeah, actually, shout out to Mon Dukes, man. Love you. She she just flew into PR today. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, yeah. Damn. She dipped the PR, bro. She went to go take Theo's ashes over. Oh, there. word. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, bro, fucking flying is not good. I don't like flying, man. Like, honestly, I don't like being in anything that I'm not in control of. Like roller coasters, airplanes, shit that could take me real high up in the air that I'm not in control of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucks with I, that, right? I don't, nah, man. The airport's fucking trash because ever since 9-11, you know how when you pick people up on the parking, like when departure, you know what I mean? Not departure. Is it departure when they arrive? Uh, well, what's what? Departure and... I think arrival. arrival I don't they fucking do, I don't know, fucking know. You guys I don't know, know what well, they call it. Anyways, bro, when you're picking somebody, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> when up, you fucking go get this dumb bitch. When you pick up the stupid motherfucker, you fucking... You could wait there, you know, and wait for him and park. But ever since, you know, 9 11, they fucking, they said you got to keep going because of that bomb yeah, that exploded. Got- yeah. In the car, I guess somebody blew up some, I don't, I don't know. It was some crazy shit that happened. Like, cause it was like multiple things that happened that day. Nah, yeah. Fuck you. I'm waiting. Yeah. So now, yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, they tell you, hey, you got to go. So you got to go around the whole fucking loop yeah. in the airport and go. <laughs> it's like going. a whole half mile. It's like fucking Ricky Bobby over here. It's fucking like, what the fuck? Racing to the fucking pit stop. My my dumb ass <laughs> was fucking, I parked on the side of the road and I said, yo, fuck them. You know, I, they told me to stop here. I'm going to go all the way out here on the outside and park there. And wait until and then a cop pulled up right behind me, bro. And he was like, yo, man, you can't park here, bro. You got to keep doing the circle, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. You're doing a circle like a fucking jerk. Fucking do the jerk. You remember that song? Bro, I was talking about that shit. I forgot who I was talking to. Um, Yeah, bro, all those dances. It's crazy how you don't see people dancing like that no more. Like the sir, like the jerk, the fucking Dougie, like all this shit. Like when we were in high school, there was certain dances that came out that people was fucking killing though. No, yeah, it you know was, what I'm yeah, it was actually like fire. it was like fuck, like it was a vibe. Yeah, but nobody danced no more. And they little niggas just standing in the corner with a Glock. Yeah, for <laughs> real, bro. Like, like it's like, what are you doing, bro? Go man, home. They're doing some weird ass dances now, man, and I, I feel, I feel man, ashamed, bro. Listen, man, that whole TikTok shit ruined it and, all. And we dance, bro. Like we like to dance, bro. No, no, like, but we, we, we like to dance, dance you know? different, man. Yeah, like it's like it. I, we like to like dance reggaeton, fucking. Yeah, you know, I, I personally like to dance reggaeton, salsa, you know, bachata, yeah. merengue, all that shit, bro. Nice, bro. So like, I get it, but nah, nah. I don't know, man. I we don't li- get it. We just live in it. Yeah, we live in a different generation. It's not like, fuck it, man. It ain't for us. Like, we we already grew up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, let these niggas grow up and and do whatever the fuck it is that they do. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, uh, bro, to be real. Uh, like, do your fucking thing, man. Live your life. Be careful. Don't have fucking kids before you fucking can afford them. And yeah. I went I went to the beach, bro. You, know, you remember I told you I went to the mm. beach and... I was chilling. There was a girl there. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know if that's her daughter, her sister. I don't know. She she could be mid-18. Nope. I don't know. I'm not too sure. She could have been 18. All right? She could have been 17. I don't know. 
You know, especially nowadays, you do not fucking know. That's a case. That's a fucking case. But the the thing that really confirmed it was okay. She's making TikTok dances and dancing. Like, all right, so you gotta be young because that's a young thing. Like, you don't really see any. Like, you don't see our generation doing it too much. Facts. Facts. I really don't see people our age doing it, man. Like, so yeah, no, nah, it's it's younger people, man. It's yeah. always it's it's always unless you're famous people. already and pe- and you're just doing it for clout, then it's different. But like, you know what I mean? Like, it's different now. We live in a different time. Honestly, I guess. Bro, times changing. Like teenagers are the people that teenagers and kids are the people that the the marketers, you know, target the most. Like when they go to market something, like that's that's what they target the most is kids and teenagers because their parents are the ones that have the money and whatever their kid wants just to have them shut the fuck up is what they're fu- like. This is what statistics say. So when you fuck around, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's different, man. It's fucking different, bro. Different time. We live in guys. Mm-hmm. We're just got to keep moving. Like the wolves. We got to go through it. <laughs> like we got to survive. Wolf. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, facts, man. We got to fucking make it. We got to survive. We got to keep fucking grinding. The marathon continues. It's another day. Look at Nip over there. Look at fucking Read Nip. it. Read it and weep. Look at right. Majestic as shit. All right. But yeah, man, we, we running out of time. Man. Yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead. We're going to close this one out. Once again, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, like, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description and hit that notification bell. Turn on the bell so you're notified every time that we fucking drop something. All right, Mav? Once again, thank one you, love. Thank you. Peace out. Smoke Take one. care of each other. And we out of here. Now go smoke a blunt. <laughs>